How's it going everybody? I have another special announcement again. Uh, it's Balasong giveaway time. <laughs> yeah, it's what we've all been waiting for. I know that's why you're subscribed to me. That's okay. <laughs> well, today is actually really special as far as the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away one of these. This is a plastic Balasong. This is my first experience with a plastic balisong. This is the first time I've ever tried one. And I'm, I'm liking it a lot, actually. It suits this little niche, like it's got its own little purpose. If I'm just, you know, you wanna use a lightweight balisong or you're traveling and you can't bring anything sharp or anything that looks like a weapon, so like if you need to pass like through TSA or anything like that, uh, this is a great option. So I wanted to talk about it a little bit. This is made by somebody in the community, someone that I met through uh, Clone Supports Discord. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit of a backstory on this thing. Um, I'll, I'll show it like this a little bit more. So the backstory is the maker of this balisong lives in Europe, well, the EU, that's Europe, yeah. <laughs> Ignore me, I'm kind of dumb when it comes to where places are on the planet. <laughs> but the maker of this is in Europe and things, for people to have things shipped to Europe, like balisongs that are primarily made in the United States is extremely expensive like almost to the point where it's just like not even worth it like the more people I talk to when they tell me about shipping costs to get things shipped overseas it's just astronomically expensive and quite frankly I don't blame them for not wanting to to go that route so this person that made this uh, he wanted to buy a squiddy and in order for him to purchase the Squiddy from Squid Industries and then have it shipped to his house, it would have been like a hundred and he said it's 120 to 130 euros. So I'm pretty sure the money is just about equivalent to US dollars. But can you imagine paying $120 for a Squiddy? Like I can't even imagine paying that money much money for a plastic balisong. Like, not only that, but, like, the only the reason I haven't even bought a Squiddy myself is because I thought $65 or $60 was a lot for a plastic balisong. Not to mention, no, I didn't even think about how much more expensive that is for someone in Europe. Like, $120 for a piece of molded plastic? Are you kidding me? They're like, no. So that's kind of, like, what the thought process was of this person. Um... See, it's got the engraving Chroma V1. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to do it better, especially for the people in Europe. So uh, he's selling these for 25 euros. And if you want one with a custom engraving, like you see how it says Chroma V1, like you can get a custom engraving. That's an extra $10, 10 euros. So normal price is 25, uh, custom engraving is 35, and then if someone in the US wants one, like me, you gotta pay an extra $11 for shipping. So for a basic plastic balisong, you got $25 plus the $11 for shipping. And that is less money than you would spend on a Squiddy. And not to mention, we're supporting, if you go and purchase this, you're supporting a small business. He's not, he doesn't have his business license yet. These are, um, he just sent out a couple to some people to give it a try and review it and talk about it. And I'm gonna get into what I think about it here in just a minute. I'm just, you know, going over the other stuff first. Um, but yeah, you're supporting a small business. You know, Squid Industry started as a small business, but they're not trying to kick off anymore. They're already well known, and 
they don't need any more help but i'm all for supporting somebody trying to do something different you know no plastic ballast songs is not something different but pla a decent plastic ballast song for 25 dollars that's different oh and i forgot to mention if you do live in europe then um i think it's do not quote me on this you will have to contact him but it it's either like significantly cheaper shipping or just or it might, it might even be free i'm not sure um you're gonna have to contact him and for those of you want to know um where to contact him you can you can get a hold of him on instagram i will try my best to tag his instagram below in the description so you can contact him if i can't for some reason link his account then i will just like write down his his at like his account name and then you can just like search it but it's chroma underscore balasong that's where you can find him on instagram so if you decide after what i tell you about this if you like it and you want one you can go hit him up and he can you know you guys can sort out the details after that so let's talk about what i think about this thing i'm gonna start with what i really like about this thing i love the design it looks great it's a little bit different um it's not exactly i guess you i would call this tonto it's a nice looking blade though um you actually do feel this right here like if the blade was going to hit your finger the bite the bite indicator you actually do feel that if you start to you know do a rollover or a chaplain on what would be the sharp side you can feel that so i really appreciate that because you know it's you the whole point of a trainer is to get used to using one so that when you go to the real thing you're not cutting yourself so in my opinion a trainer without the indicator of whether you're going to cut yourself or not if it doesn't have that or it doesn't work then I mean, it's not useless because it's still a fun toy to use, but I just, I don't like it when I, when those don't work. Um, I really like the weight system. As you'll notice, he's got screws in the bottom of the handles and another one at the top of the blade. Now what that does is it's creating more mass at each end of the balisong. And what that does is it, when you're doing tricks that require momentum, it keeps the momentum going because the weight is at the very end. So the whole thing is extremely light and the weight is at the ends. So that just really helps out when it comes to flipping. I really like that. It is on washers. I do find this thing to be pretty durable. I've been flipping, I literally haven't put this thing down in three days. I'm going on three days flipping just a plastic balisong. I haven't even picked up anything else. Everything else has just been sitting in my organizer drawer. And hold on, I'm going to step into the shade. My phone likes to overheat. I gotta, I'm getting hot, so I have a feeling my phone might start getting hot. It's the morning, and it's, it's like late morning and it's already super hot where i am let me know in the comments what the temperature is near you because it's hot <laughs> it's hot here in the united states in virginia i'm in the south so it does get a little bit more hot here um the jimping is just grippy enough to aid with things like ladders It does fan with no issue. As you can see, I can, whoop, as I say that. So it does fan good. So the only thing I have to comment on, on flippability wise, is Z chokers. It's a little bit difficult to do Z chokers on this. And that's the only trick so far that I've really had an issue with. Now, I'm not the greatest flipper. So I can't do like a whole lot of everything. I'm sure that, you know, I have a lot of viewers that are much better than me at flipping. So, I mean, my experience might not be the same as your experience. 
Um, but the reason I have trouble with Z chokers is because of the handle gap. As you can see, the handle gap is a tad bit on the wide side. So I asked the maker why he decided to do that. And he has a very good reason. His reasoning is so that over time, the handles, all right, so what happens is, <coughs> if you don't already know, I'll just describe this real quick. What keeps the ballast song, the handles from slapping together is two parts. You got, you got your Zen pins and you got your Tang, I'm gonna call this a Tang nipple. So when this flies open, this si the side part right here, the Zen pin butts into the side of the Tang pin, and that's what stops it from, um, you know, stops it when you open it. So the basis of the reasoning for the handle gap is you got metal Zen pins clashing into plastic. So if he closed the handle gap right, you know, like he, he makes it and then it's instantly, you know, smaller. Like if he made the tang nipple, if he made it smaller, then over time when you wear in that tang nipple by banging the metal Zen pins into the plastic blade, you're gonna wear down. And eventually when you open it, the handles would slap together. So he purposefully made the handle gap a little bit wider, knowing that over time, you're gonna wear in this part right here. And then, because when you wear it down, you don't want it to develop slap, because that would be annoying. So he made it like that on purpose, and I thought that was awesome. After a couple days, if I look at it, um, you can see that it, it's starting to break in I don't know if the camera is going to pick up on it. But, yep. And then uh, another thing I, I guess I should show. Um, now, keep them, this is a plastic ballast song. So, you know, tolerance is, it, it, it just really doesn't matter to me. Like, yes, it has play, it has tap, but that's just the nature of plastic. And when you go into when you buy a plastic knife, you just have to go into it knowing that it's gonna be like that. Another cool touch that I that he added that I really liked is on the top weight, he added a piece of rubber around the edges of the screws. And that rubber is hitting the handles. And I noticed that he probably added that because if he didn't put the rubber, then it's probably just this nut banging into the side of the handles so that's accomplishing two things you're one dampening the sound so you don't have plastic slapping plastic because i think that would sound bad and you're keeping the handles from being like worn down and it, it just keeps them nicer so the reason i'm telling you all these things is because the maker has obviously put in a lot of time designing this he told me it took him about 20 20 versions to get to this one like 20 revisions so i mean he's really put in a lot of work and i think that you know purchasing one of these and supporting him is what we should be doing here as a community now if you can afford it then i would absolutely recommend it um because i love this thing i love what he's doing here for the community so all right, so I talked about the ballast song. Let me show you. So the blue one is the one I'm gonna be keeping. Aha, I got another one. This purple one right here, I have not flipped much because I don't wanna damage it. But this is the one I'm gonna be doing the giveaway with. So um, I'm gonna be doing, I know that I said I was gonna be doing every other giveaway like US based and then overseas, but I have to go with another US giveaway uh, Reason is is um, when my grandmother passed away. I didn't work all Last week and the week before so I went two weeks without working. So I'm kind of in The time where I need to save some more money to you know get back where I was And I got I just got to budget my money. So 
I will be doing a US giveaway on this. And if this ballast song interests you and you want to enter the giveaway, then you can comment down below on this video. And you have to make it known that you want this ballast song. So let's say if you want this, then you can, you know, whatever you type, and then in your whatever sentence or paragraph you type to me, just write purple ballast song. If I see the word, or if you say I want the purple ballast song, something like that, just make it known that you want into the giveaway or say, you know, giveaway if you want to be in it. Yeah, let's do, let's go with that. Just comment giveaway or something. I still haven't made up my mind. I'm literally just spitballing as I talk. <laughs> also, this video is not sponsored by him. I did purchase these with my own money. So everything that I've said about this thing is non-biased. Um, I have only told him a couple of things that I was going to say. I did not tell him or go in depth with explaining what I was going to say. So this video will be just as much as a surprise to you guys as it will be to the maker of this ballast song. Oh, something else I wanted to comment on. I guess this is the V1, so this is his first revision. Um, the only thing that I would change is when, like in the V2, if you could make an adjustment, um, these screws right here, when they come through the other side of the nut, they do stick out a little bit. Uh, it has not bothered me, but if you were looking for a way to refine the product as a whole, um, sanding that down or getting slightly smaller screws so that they fit flush because that's the only thing on this thing that's not flush everything else is gorgeous this these at the end flush this one doesn't really matter I cannot feel the Zen pins that's not an issue I cannot even feel the front of the pivot screws it's only the back so if there was a way to sand those down a little bit and just make them flush like everything else, I think that that would be a good improvement. But other than that, this thing is fantastic. Like this, you gotta take in consideration it's a plastic ballast song, so it's not gonna do, you know, everything a, a metal knife would do or aluminum or titanium, whatever you decide or whatever you have. But for what it is, man, I love, I absolutely love this thing. So these are non-biased opinions, non-paid for opinions. I'm not sponsored. He did not send these to me for free. I paid with these with my own money. And I love it. So I'm going to keep flipping this. And if you guys want to enter the giveaway, let me know in the comments. And I will be posting another video um, probably in about three or four days announcing the winner. And uh, we'll talk about it more then. So until then... Thank you for 400 subscribers. I really appreciate it. The next giveaway will be my Nabalis Morse. I will be giving away the Nabalis Morse at 500 subscribers. So thank you for your continuous views. It really does mean a lot to me. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. See you later.